Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about Java program for finding GCD of two numbers using a recursion. The two numbers are read from the keyboard using scanner class. First, we have to import scanner class from the util package. For that one, we have to use import statement import java dot util dot scanner. So, what is the meaning of this line? We have to import scanner class from the util package by using import statement. Next, I am creating one class. The class name is GCD of two numbers. GCD of two numbers. This is the class name. In that class, I am writing the function int gcd of int a comma int b. So, I am taking two numbers in variable a, first value is stored, in variable b, second value is stored. So, brace begin. If b value equal to equal to 0, then return a. So, among the two numbers a and b, if b value is equal to 0, so gcd of two numbers is a only. Else, return gcd of b comma a modulus operator b. So, this is the gcd is the recursive function call. Here gcd is there, here gcd is there. So, this is called as recursion. Next one, we have to close the function. Next, we have to write main method public static void main string arguments. So, this is the main method in Java programming. So, every Java program execution starts with the main function. Next, we have to create the object for scanner class. Scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in. So, what is the meaning of this line? This line is used for reading the values from the keyboard. For that purpose, we have to use scanner class. SC is the reference object of the scanner class. New operator is used for allocating the memory for SC object. System.in is used for reading the input value from the keyboard. Next one. I am reading A and B values from the keyboard. So, for that one, I am using int A is equal to sc dot next int sc dot next int. So, this line is used for once we are reading the value from the keyboard, that value can be taken as string data type. To convert this string data type value into integer, we have to use next int method. Okay. This method is available in scanner class. 
Once we are converting that string data type value into integer, that value can be assigned to the variable a. Its data type is integer. So, before going to that line, I am writing one statement system dot out dot println enter a value a value is read from the keyboard next in the same way enter b value system dot out dot println enter b value Next, int b is equal to sc dot next int. So, once we are reading the a and b values by using from the keyboard, next we have to find out the gcd. For that purpose, first we have to call the function int result is equal to gcd of a comma b okay so this is the calling function so by using whenever the function is calling in the main program the control goes from calling function to this is the called function calling function to called function once we are executing the called function, again control comes back to calling function. Whatever the result we are getting, that result can be assigned to the variable on the left hand side, that is result. Now we have to print the result value. System dot out dot print ln. GCD of A and B is plus result. So, the result is stored in the GCD of two numbers is stored in the result variable. That result is that result variable value is printed. So, this is the main method close and this is the class closed okay so this is the simple program for finding out the gcd of two numbers using a recursion so every java program starts with the execution from the main method we have to create the object per scanner class by using this statement and read the input from the keyboard so a value is read from the keyboard and b value is read from the keyboard now we are calling the function gcd of a comma b the control goes from calling function to from 23rd line to fifth line so here by using this logic so gcd value is uh, calculated now the control again comes to the called function to calling function whatever the result we are getting that result is stored in the variable called result that result value is printed ok now we have to save the program save as so here gcd of two numbers dot java It is already there so that we have to replace them. Next, we have to compile the Java program CLS. So, Java C GCD of two numbers dot Java.
so here this method uh, non static method of gcd int comma int cannot be referenced from a static content so here here we have to use static before the method before the method we have to use static keyword stat when once we are uh, writing the static keyword before this method so whatever the value that we are getting from each iteration that value is updated so because of that reason we have to put static keyword before the method name from the first iteration we are getting some value next that value can be used for the second iteration from the second iteration we are getting some result okay that result can be used for third iteration for that purpose we have to use static before the method name okay now we have to save that program once again we have to run the program first we have to compile the program the program is successfully compiled now we have to run the program java gcd of two numbers gcd of two numbers enter a value i am giving a value is a 60 enter b value i am gi i am giving value 45 okay so 60 value stored in variable a 45 value is stored in variable b gcd of that two numbers is 15 how we are getting this 15 now we can go for the program the program is successfully compiled the program is successfully running we are getting the result so gcd of 60 and 45 is 15 okay how we are getting this 15 okay so here we can go to the program here i am giving a value is 60 okay i am giving b value is 45 okay so now this line is gcd of gcd of 60 comma 45 gcd of 60 comma 45 now the control goes to called function so here now a value is a 60 here i am writing a value is a 60 and b value is equal to 45 okay so go to that method in that method first statement if b equal to equal to 0 here b value is 45 45 equal to equal to 0 that is false now the control goes to the else block in the else block return so what is this meaning so gcd of gcd of b value is 45 comma a modulus operator b 60 modulus operator 45 so what is the result we are getting so here the result is that is equal to so gcd of 45 comma 60 modulus operator 45 means 60 can be divided with the 45 then we are getting the remainder value so remainder value is 45 once 45 remainder value is 15 we are getting 45 comma 15 okay so now 45 comma 15 again the control goes to second time so a value is 45 now 60 can be replaced with the 45 and b value can be replaced with the 15 for the second iteration so this values are updated because of the reason we have to use static keyword okay now the control goes to the 
uh, statements within this method if b equal to equal to 0 15 equal to equal to 0 false the control goes to else block in that else block now again written gcd of b comma a modulus operator b so what is b value now b value is 15 15 and a modulus operator b so a value is 45 and b value is 15 15 okay so here 45 can be divided with 15 what is the remainder value we are getting 53 is 45 so remainder value 0 so now what is the result we are getting 15 comma 0 remainder value is 0 we are getting 45 can be divided with 15 we are getting the remainder value 0 again these two values are updated for the updated for the third iteration so here a value is now 15 and b value is 0 b value is 0 okay so whenever a value is 15 b value is 0 then the control goes to the statements within this method if b value equal to equal to 0 condition true if this condition is true return a so what is uh, a value what is a value so a value is 15 okay so this is the result this value can be returned to the this place okay so called function to calling function so what is the value we are getting that is a 15 15 can be assigned to the variable on the left hand side that is a result now the result variable contains the 15 therefore gcd of 60 and 45 is 15 we are getting 15 so this is the uh, program so this is the simple program and important program so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel after subscribing my youtube channel the bellas thank you thank you